Rules? I'll just tell you the most important one, because I hate chit-chat. Anything goes, just don't kill anyone. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Epic Tetsu, and I thought we'd go over a few things in Tower of Fantasy on the PS4, PS5. I'm playing on the PS5. A lot of people in the chats are like, hey, how do you do this? They just started playing yesterday, so on and so forth. And they don't understand how the UI works in this game, which can be a little overwhelming and a little difficult. But let's go ahead and start off with the basics. If you press square and triangle at the same time, Evil will never win. You'll do something like that. So you just want to kind of click it. And now you'll see by pressing them both, I have a cursor. You should see it moving around on my screen. And you can go up here and you can click on any of these icons up here. You'll see this little arrow here. If you actually click on the arrow with your cursor, it'll minimize that. Do it again, bring it back. In. While your cursor is still on the screen, and if it's not, you just press square and triangle again, just click it. And you'll come down here. This is your food. If you want to set up something different for your food, you need to have your cursor just barely over the top of the arrow, make sure it's not on the actual food, and it's going to open up this menu right here. What you're going to be able to do here My feet are not is tired yet. basically select a dish. Now you'll notice your cursor went away, so as soon as this pops up, you got to do your click thing again with the square and triangle, and now you'll be able to select what food you want with your right analog stick. So I already have mine selected and I'm probably just going to keep it on what it is because it's working out pretty good. All right, so now that we've gotten that out of the way with, let's go into chat. So we held L1 and we press down on the D-pad. That's going to take you into world chat. Now, first thing you're going to notice is your cursor is already on the screen, so you're good there. But you'll notice if you hit your left stick, you're going to be moving around with it still going. Okay, so you're going to see people chatting First thing is, you may want to be like, well, how do I scroll up and read chat? Use your touchpad. All you do is scroll up or down. It's a little touchy, so you got to be careful whether you're going to be sitting there clicking on all kinds of stuff. So your, your touchpad is going to get you back and forth between chat. And you can select any one of these. If you have a crew, select all those. Same thing, same thing. Okay, let's get into the next part which is emotes. You just come over here and select one of these, and then you can send it. You also have these here, but that's for your personal emotes. If you want to do chat emotes, you actually hit this plus sign here. So you'll have all these, and then you'll have some that actually have little actions and stuff, and I can wave to everybody. Hello, this is nice. Okay, so what else is next is how do you change your channel? You're going to hit this L1 button. You're going to hit the left on the D-pad. You're going to see it says currently on channel 10, go 10 line. So you'll see your cursor again. You actually need to be on the blue part where it says the number. And then you'll hit X. And then you can enter whatever channel you want to go to. So if, say for instance, you're in a channel where a ton of people are maybe not speaking your language. And you want to try to find a channel where more people are speaking your language. Are not uh, then you may try, you know, a lower channel. So far, lower channels, numbers from like maybe one to 10 seem to be a lot more maybe English speaking people. And then people who are possibly speaking more of like Spanish uh, are pretty much kind of like in the mid to higher channels I've noticed. So that may help you out. So basically that is covering, you know, your on-screen UI while you're doing these things, food, chat, how to change channels, if you press options, you'll see that you can select, you know, any of these. You can actually just use the D-pad, or you can actually use the right stick. Just remember, if you hit the left stick, you're going to be moving around. So that'll help you select any of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, like, special orders. You'll see it's pretty basic. Hit triangle for this, L2 for that, R2 for this. Square will fit you to your nucleus. These are your standard summons. This is more like taking it like a front point summon with the... Uh, black nucleus there. So you're going to see all of these. That's pretty basic. If you want to change characters, you see down there it says R1, L1, and then you can go ahead and summon for them. So that's all pretty basic. So let's look into something that's maybe not very basic. A 
Okay, so when you go to the shop on like this one, the left analog stick is going to take you up and down these. And you'll see they have limited gift bags. Are not tired yet. So automatically we have a change in how the sticks work. So you see here, you hold L1 and you can hit square. And that'll take you to the calendar and the events and all that. Next thing we're going to do. Let me find it here real quick. Okay, it's terminal. So when you go to your terminal, you'll use your left stick and that'll select whatever it is you want to select there, achievements. Now, when you go down through here to actually select these, you'll need to use the up and down arrow. And if you just kind of click it, it'll take you here. Then you're going to actually use the left analog stick to press over to the right. And then you'll be able to claim it by pressing X, of course. And then we have to get through the rest of these. So, not exactly the best UI, but the game itself is actually pretty fun. So if you can get past all the, all the junk there, that can kind of help you out. All right, I believe there was one more thing I wanted to show you. Let's go into, yeah, let's go into weapons. Okay, so when you go to enhance a weapon, you may have found out, like you may have been selecting a weapon. And if you want to select a weapon, you'll see here. Use the left analog stick. You're going to press down, go down to sets, and then you're going to scroll over. You're going to see it highlighting it. Now I'm on the second, now I'm on the third. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and say I want to upgrade this hammer. So you'll see these arrows that are green showing you that's the selected weapon. So this is the weapon I want to upgrade, so I need to hit X. Now it's saying that this is the weapon I'm on. So now when I hit upgrade, it's going to say, okay, you want to upgrade this weapon. Well, in order for the, the video, I'm going to have to augment it real quick. So we'll just hit X. Okay, hammer, nothing too crazy. Okay, so now when you go to upgrade, you're gonna notice that you can hit enhance and it's automatically already 20 levels. And you may be like, well, I only have so many materials and I don't, I don't wanna use them all, okay? Hit your left stick and you're gonna see you selected this and you'll see the L square around it. Now we're on the green looking ones to the right. Now, before we do this, you'll notice that when I transferred over, the little orange square or yellow square was over this little arrow before you get to here. So when you do that, you just hit X and you can say, okay, I only want to spend four or three. And you'll notice over here that my level's going down. Now it's only going to go to level 14. Okay. So let's go ahead and just make it 16 for the sake of video. So now that I've already selected these, you'll need to hit circle to back out of that just once. Then you'll hit X. And now you can upgrade however far you want to upgrade instead of just going for the max. Because maybe you're trying to save some materials, but you need a little strength. So, you know, you just want to upgrade a little something, something. So that's how we do that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Once you, like I said, once you get a hang of how the UI actually works, it's not too bad. It's just so different from a lot of games like Genshin and everything else you're used to that it can seem frustrating. And if you do like this game, I want you to be able to enjoy the game without feeling frustrated and being like, oh, this is a terrible game because of the way it's set up. But it's actually pretty, pretty chill. It's a cool game. This person looks cool. All right. So, yeah, very nice. <laughs> uh, there was one more thing. Um, I, give me just a second to find it because I'm still learning the game too. I believe it's in... It's not special orders. It may be in this menu. Ah, yes. Okay, so when you hit L1 and you press up on your D-pad, up, up on your analog stick, I'm sorry, you'll be taken into here where you can do draws and, and all this other stuff. So rewards is something to remember. Use your left stick, go over here, you click on your reward, you can claim it with X. Now you'll use your directional buttons to go up and down on the left side here where it says sign in, level pack, pass you're going to see exchange remember that in this area you always have to go to rewards to enter a gift code we do not have any gift codes at this time uh if we ever do i may let you know i'm not sure if i'm going to try to cover this game or not i just want to put out a video to make sure that we got some help out to people just in case you know they were curious about how things may work so newcomer event this is the biggest one remember that the square and triangle are your friend you just click them both at the same time really really light and easy you know boom you get your cursor. Your cursor is going to take you over here to point rewards. You hit X, 
Now you can claim all your stuff. Okay? Pretty pretty nifty. Not not too hard. When you don't know how to do it, it becomes frustrating as hell. This SSR box rewards is not something you can actually click on, I don't think. I think it's all in just point rewards. So to take off your cursor, you're just going to hit square and triangle, and then you'll be back to this. Up and down, just use the left analog stick. You should be familiar with that. Go do your missions, come back, hit X, claim them. Just remember, when the point reward thing shows up, you got to hit that square and triangle. Commit it to memory. That's your best friend in this game right now. Anything, anytime you're having trouble, if something's really just having issues, just hit square and triangle. But if you don't do it right, you'll be doing that. So you got to do it just right, and you'll get this cursor. Okay. Now remember, if there's something you want to click on up here and not use the other shortcut commands, you can do that. Say we want to go on shop from here. You just hit X on the shop, boom, take you right to it. So however you want to do it, that stuff's going to help you out. Um, let's look in the maps real quick because that was something else I just remembered. So hit your touchpad. All you got to do is select it. You'll see L1 and R1 zooms in and out. That's pretty simple. It shows you right there. Now, you may be like, well, how do I teleport? Well, you can teleport, but only to certain locations. So, when you hover above something, you'll see it says R3, square, whatever. I just press square. It'll say transmit. So, you notice here, you can transmit yourself, which is teleporting, to the arena. Now, let's go look at this. This is a box where, like, a world boss shows up. You can join a team or see what teams are available by pressing, you know, your right stick, uh, hit square to go there. What it means by go is that it's going to mark the location on your map so you can just run there or use your vehicle or whatever. There's the current coordinates up at the top. Go does not mean teleport. It does not mean transmit. So if you do not see the word, which it's usually these little places like this, you can't transmit if it doesn't say transmit. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much going to do it for today's video i can't think of anything else currently at the moment so if you have any other questions just let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do more tower fantasy videos for ps4 ps5 uh let me know that in the comments below i hope this information helped you out you guys remember to be well be epic feet are not tired take yet. care